If the stadiums were the heart of the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022, then the FIFA Fan Festival at Al Bidah Park was the soul. Well, it's a big festival right now. We're enjoying all together with a beautiful party of soccer. I feel like it's gonna be an epic night for sure. Maluma and Miriam Faras were there to help us kick off the party atmosphere but they were just two of many international stars to grace the FIFA Fan Festival live stage. Absolutely wild, complete madness. What a crowd, international. I couldn't, I couldn't imagine seeing that many flags at one show, but I, we, we have it here at Qatar. I'm so excited, huge stage, so many people. I'm so proud to be here. It's a historic moment, it's a big milestone for my career to bring everyone together in unity. For some, the amazing live performances offered some respite to what was happening on the pitch, like me, with Qatar sadly not making it beyond the group stage, but we did score a goal. A landmark moment for Qatar! While the stars of 2022 were strutting their stuff on the big screen, FIFA World Cup heroes of old visited the FIFA Fan Festival. The beauty of the FIFA Fan Festival though, is that there's something for everyone. This place is stunning, it's very modern, it's crazy, it's beautiful. I love the FIFA Fan Festival. FIFA Fan Festival is great. It's one of the best I've ever been to. There was so much on offer that after just under two weeks, we'd welcomed more than one million fans through the gates from all over the world. Back in the stadium, we were getting down to the business end with the knockout stage starting. And Livakovic with a hat trick of penalty save. And of course, there was a healthy debate in Al Bidah Park between two legends still doing their thing in the FIFA World Cup tournament. Win or lose, the FIFA Fan Festival kept bringing the good times. Me, soy Trini. Everything the man have that for me. Don't they stay holding it up, baby? Give me pretty face, ugly girl can't see me. Me that pretty teeth, let me do my little shimmy. That look fat, but that we are still skinny. As attentions turned to the final four, the FIFA Fan Festival was the host as Adidas launched the El Hilm, the ball to be used in the semi finals and final. <laughs> There can only be one winner. 
it was Argentina who were celebrating with the final party at the FIFA Fan Festival, befitting this historic occasion. Argentina, champions of the world! And all that's left for me to say about the 2022 FIFA Fan Festival is... Wow, 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 wow! wow. wow.